In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy cotton summer skirt. We're going to need bows, scissors, stringer ribbon, pins, measuring tape, fabric, I chose a very lightweight cotton, thread, paper, pen, and a ruler. We're going to start by measuring out the largest point around our waist, then the length of our waistband, the length of the first layer of our skirt, and then the length of the second layer. So again, the large hip measurement, the length of our waistband, the length of our first layer, and the length of our second layer. And using these measurements, we're gonna cut out our pattern. Our pattern is gonna be made up of four pieces. I times my large hip measurement on layer one by 1.25, and for layer two, 1.4. If you'd like more gathering in your skirt, you can times it by a larger number. You're then going to fold your layer pieces in half and make little cuts. These cuts will help create curve to these pieces. The more curve you create, the more volume your skirt's going to have. As you can see, I created more volume on the second layer of my skirt pattern. You're now ready to cut your pattern out onto your fabric. If you don't have string, you can cut a thin piece of your fabric out to use as your tie. We're now going to start by using a basting stitch to sew on the top curves of our first and second layer of our skirt. So switch to the largest stitch on your machine and sew along those two edges. You're then going to pull at the string of your basting stitch to create gathers. You want to gather these two pieces so that all the pieces will align while you're pinning. So as you can see, you want our first layer to match up with the waistband and the second layer to match up with the first layer. If it's not matching up, you can always pull at your basting stitch to create more gathers. We're now ready to attach the second piece of our waistband. You're going to pin your second waistband piece to the top of your other waistband piece and make sure that all of your pinning is done right sides together. With those four pieces now attached, we're going to iron up the seam allowance from the waistband. With that seam allowance ironed up, we're going to sew it down with a top stitch. We want to make sure that we're catching all of the layers of the fabric when we're sewing this top stitch. And we want to sew it nice and close to the seam. This will help create a way crisper edge. We're then ready to sew our side seam. When you're sewing this, make sure that all your seams are lining up. To lock in all your threads, you're then going to go over all your seams again with a zigzag stitch. We're now ready to fold over our waistband. So we're going to start by folding over the top by one centimeter and then folding it in half. And then we're going to iron down our seam and again the top stitch is really going to help for this part. Next we're going to be placing pins in the seam and we want to make sure that it's catching all the layers of the fabric. And you're going to do this pinning for all around the waistband. And then you're going to sew where you pinned making sure to sew right in the seam so you don't see the stitch. We're now ready to hem the skirt, so we're gonna do this by folding it over one centimeter, ironing it down, and then folding it over again. You can also put pins to keep it in place. And then with a straight stitch, we're gonna sew all along the hem. I'm now gonna add my decorative ribbon onto the hem of my skirt. And I'm going to sew two seams that are going to work as a channel for my ribbon. You want to make sure that these two top stitches are far enough apart that the ribbon's going to fit in between them. Again, if you don't have any ribbon, you can make ribbon out of your own fabric. So now sew those two top stitches right around the waistband to create your channel. And then you can also sew on your decorative hem. The next step is to find the center of our skirt and cut two little holes on either side of the center through the top layer of our waistband. We're going to use these holes to thread through our ribbon. You can use whatever you like to thread your ribbon. I always use an old sewing machine needle because of the blunt end. The final step is to sew on any bows or other decorative items that you'd like. And you're all done! Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, please subscribe.